Dylan Yudis. I am a self-taught programmer. I'm based in Burbank, so right down the block. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what two years of failing as a programmer has taught me thus far. Yeah, so my bumpy ride to success, um, just for context, I actually worked in the music industry for a couple of years uh, before switching into code. Um, in May of 2020, I actually got furloughed. I got laid off uh, from my job in the music industry. Unfortunately, so I was left uh, without, jo- without a job and really without much guidance. Um, so what did I do? Obviously, started teaching myself how to code. Um, and yeah, my, my journey started in the summer of 2020. And then I was learning on Free Code Camp and Udemy. I'm sure very familiar resources that... You know, um, so I did that for like most of the year, and I realized that I started. I, I needed to start getting some more experience, so I began freelancing at the end of 2020 because um, I didn't really have a lot of experience, and that was that was a struggle. Um, I worked with some really difficult clients, which was tough, and for not a lot of money, understandably, because I didn't really have the experience to back, you know, a fair wage, right? But I was still getting a lot of experience, and that kind of bubbled up into me kind of getting my first web developer job, actually local to here. Um, And that was great, because I got a a lot of good experience doing that. Um, Basic skill set, but that was also challenging. I was commuting, like, two hours a day, and I was getting, you know, like, paid minimum wage and stuff, so it was, like, pretty tough to pay my rent. Um, uh, and just didn't really end up working out. So I ended up parting ways with them after some time. And um, that, fortunately enough, um, led to kind of like my first big break, I guess you could say, after like a year and a half of this journey, where I finally landed a really solid job um, like as a web producer at a law firm, uh, like a corporate environment. And I was there for like seven months. And then finally that kind of compounded into this first engineering role um, at a software startup where I've been since uh, June of 2022, and that's been really great. I'm a customer success engineer there, so I'm kind of like a technical consultant slash, you know, front, um, kind of like client-facing programmer, so I kind of like tweak the code using JavaScript. Um, so yeah, what I, what I learned, common theme about this was uh, when you suck at something, you got to keep pushing through. Um, James Clear, author of Atomic Habits, popular book, he talks about this idea of the plateau of latent potential. Uh, When we first start doing something, when we're building a skill or kind of starting with a habit, um, like a good habit, um, we tend to think that like we're going to get immediate results over time, right? Um, Typically that doesn't happen and when we're disappointed we tend to find ourselves in this valley of disappointment. Um, and it's important that when you find yourself in the valley of disappointment, you have to keep pushing through. Um, you could be really bored, really disappointed, really sad, but like, there's going to be a lot of days when you wake up and you don't feel like pushing through. Uh, you, you have to keep doing that. It's, it's really important. So invest time in losing and, and seemingly what it seems like losing. For me, what that looked like was like building really basic websites for unglamorous clients. Uh, no offense. But, uh, and... Um, this eventually does turn into compound growth, uh, slow growth, and then immediately, a lot of times, it will kind of shoot up over time. But it takes time. You have to get over this, like, this is pointless hump, kind of. Um, it's important to get behind the idea of, like, delayed gratification. And this is tough for a lot of us, because, like, you go on YouTube, and there's, like, a lot of YouTubers hitting you with, like, bullshit clickbait telling you that, like, you could become a Google software engineer in, like, three months and make, like, $500,000 a year. Yeah, that's not real. Like, you shouldn't believe it. Uh, take it for somebody who did believe it for a long time. Um, maybe f- for, for the ma- vast majority of us, um, m- there's maybe freak cases. Um, but for most of us, it's not how it works out. So my message to you is this. If you're currently stuck in the valley of disappointment, be happy that you're, you're there. Because you're doing it the right way. You're girding through. You're figuring, you're figuring out code. You're on Stack Overflow. You're Googling it. This is what we all have to do to get to where we want to be. So this is what two years of failing as a programmer has taught me. Uh, one of many, or many, many lessons, but the most important is, you know, we need to get used to this idea of delayed gratification. Don't expect immediate results. Um, compound growth. This is, like, if there's one thing that you can extract out of this presentation, compound growth, the power of compound growth. Um, this is a crazy statistic. Like, Warren Buffett, his, I think it was something like 97.9% of his um, wealth was accumulated after the age of 52. 
Think about that. That's amazing. Like he worked half of a lifetime to get to where he wanted to be. So you can take that and apply it to your own growth and your life and your story. And lastly, persistence triumphs over talent. I have a YouTube channel and I talk about this a lot in my YouTube channel. Like you have to keep persisting. This is one of my favorite uh, analogies. Like you never know when you're going to hit the diamond mine. So like keep doing it. Like keep doing the thing. Like do it. It could be tomorrow. It could be next month. Like you never know. So just keep persisting. Anyways, yeah. So like I said, my YouTube channel, um, that's a lifestyle photo of me. My friend took it. Um, but yeah, I talk a lot, a lot about this stuff on my YouTube channel. So if you could you know, check out the videos, that'd be awesome. Any support's appreciated. Thank you for having me. Happy Saturday. It's just Dylan Yudis. Yeah, <laughs> really basic.